Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a weekly reading for the sign of Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. This would be for the 11th through the 17th, but keep in mind that the timing is fluid. People get hung up on those dates, and I'm telling you, do not get hung up on the dates. This could be happening now or the week after. Okay, so that's just, you know, that's reality. There's such thing as divine timing. But this is for Leo, and I am saying that is for the week of the 11th through the 17th. But there is a higher power involved that decides on divine timing. So let's just see what comes up for Leo. What do we got for Leo, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? What do we have for Leo? Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. So we have heartbreak. Okay. This is a broken heart. But realizing that there is something else. Okay. So I, there, I mean, I, what more can I say? I mean, the cards speak for themselves. There's some sort of stormy weather. There, it's like when it rains, it pours, and it's pouring. It's pouring out. Um, there could be some sort of grievance that you are dealing with. Um, there may be some grieving. You may be crying. You may be going through a very tough time right now. Um, there is definitely some sort of uh, sorrow and pain. Okay, there is sorrow and pain here. Um, I, I mean, that was, you can't, you can't make those two cards up. All right. Um, uh, but the five of cups reverse says that you're beginning to realize the truth, right? You're beginning to realize that, you know, whatever it is that you are hurting over probably wasn't needed to, uh, be dealt with because I was realizing, I hope that is the case anyway. Ooh, there's been, you're probably going to be experiencing some upheaval. Like your whole world has been turned upside down. <sighs> you know, somebody may uh, be feeling really uneasy. Somebody could be getting really, really frustrated. Things are changing. You may be trying to resist change. There's lack of balance, lack of harmony at this time. I mean, I can't make up the card. Things are not coming together as you thought they were going to or something like that. There's definitely a lot of upheaval, uh, heartbreak, sadness, sorrow. It's pouring out. It's raining hard. Like I said, when it rains, it pours. It feels like you may feel like your whole world has been turned upside down. And something really hurts with this Three of Swords. There could be a separation that you are dealing with with both of these cards. Just focus this in. There could be some sort of separation that is causing you uh, pain. Ooh, the Knight of Wands. Something's going to happen very, very, very fast. This is a very fast-moving energy. If somebody may get this vision or somebody decides to take action or they may even be... Somebody is causing upheaval in your life. This person has a vision. They, It's like they're, 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 they're taking action and there's you probably... This is sudden change, sudden change that is probably going to make you feel very uncomfortable. Seven of Swords, somebody's going to get caught lying. Seven of Swords reverse, this is getting caught. If somebody hasn't been telling the truth, and they haven't been acting with integrity. If they've been lying, this is the truth. This is getting caught. Somebody's getting caught in a lie. The 
somebody may be arriving very, very quickly and it causes you a lot of uneasiness. Uh, this is feeling robbed. Maybe you are, are robbed or you robbed somebody. I don't know. It could go either way. But this is this is getting caught. The Seven of Swords getting caught. We have somebody here that has been trapped. Somebody has been trapped in prison. Somebody has been imprisoned here. So we have somebody here that is uh, dealing with a lot of mental conflict. This person has not been able to uh, see things clearly. This person has been playing the victim, uh, allowing themselves to be a victim. Trapped. Trapped in their mind, not making not making uh, the right choices. But this is getting caught. If you have been trapped in a situation by somebody, or if somebody that you are dealing with has been trapped, they have been lying, they have been thieving, they haven't been telling the truth. If you've, somebody has been keeping you stuck or if you've been keeping yourself stuck, I see some sort of movement. Something is about to change. Oh, you could be dealing with a Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is somebody that is very capable. This is somebody that is solid. This is somebody that is motherly. This is somebody that... Um, has a golden opportunity in her hand. She usually gets what she wants because she is so uh, devoted. Okay, she's so devoted. She's a hard worker. She's a planner. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Looks like she has something in her hand. This is a golden opportunity. She's manifested something. Somebody has manifested something. What is this Three of Swords? What's the deal with that? What's the deal with this uh, heartbreak, this separation that we are dealing with? Mm. Somebody has been facing some life challenges. Somebody has been holding on to something, blocking Blocking. Somebody has been blocking uh, a new beginning here. They have. They've been blocking a connection. This is an exciting new beginning. It's been blocked. And it's because somebody has been trying to prove themselves for some reason, holding on to something that they do need to let go of. The next card is the Ten of Wands. Oh, goodness gracious. And this equals 10. So I feel as though it's time to let go and start over. I think that you are suffering. This is suffering. You're in some sort of heartache that you, you've you been holding on to something. And it's like if you've been blocking your own new beginning. I don't know why. Why have you been doing that? Oh, my God. You know... You got to be practical here. You got to be practical. You're holding on to something. What? For for what reason? For the money? For what? What is the reason? Why are you holding on to this? It's it's causing a lot of conflict in your life. It's not love. Somebody's going to get caught in a situation. <laughs> And you may feel like you've be, you're being attacked. You may be feeling like you're being attacked this week. This is a loveless situation. You have a new opportunity here. You have an opportunity to go down a new path. Take what's left and go. I feel like you are blocking your new beginning. This is blocking. You're blocking something. 
There could be jealousy issues. That could be one of the reasons. Whoever you're dealing with probably has a plan, a solid plan. Not only does this person have a plan, this person is very capable. So anyway, Leo, I feel like you may feel like you are under attack this week. This has to do with love. And when the Ace of Cups is reversed, there ain't no love. And somebody is going to get caught, the truth is going to come out. Somebody is probably going to arrive uh, suddenly. There could be a sudden arrival that causes some upheaval in your life. It causes some uneasiness. But whoever this person is that is arriving, this is all happening for a reason. It is. It's going to help you. It's going to help you to see that you have a better opportunity. It is. It is. It's like you have an opportunity to go in a new direction. You do. This is an exciting opportunity to expand your horizons, to go someplace else. What is this seven of wands? This is you up against you're it's like you 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 might you're probably feeling attacked yeah, yes, okay. here we have the page of swords. This is conflict. look at the fist, okay, you're probably dealing with somebody who is saying things to you that is really hurting you. You're up against a fight of some sort. This is a fighter. This is your warrior. So it feels as though you are up against a, some sort of fight. Um, the Page of Swords. You may have bitten off more than you can chew. There's going to be a message or a messenger that arrives that delivers some sort of news that you don't want to hear. It's a meaningless card. It may make you very upset. Somebody's going to get upset. I can tell by this card right here. If somebody's taking action. Could be this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody has been trapped in a place that they shouldn't be. Where there is no love. And the truth, somebody's going to get caught in a lie. You may feel as though you are under attack. You may feel the need to defend yourself. You probably are going to need to defend yourself. Somebody's probably going to get very upset. Could be you. Could be other the other person. Somebody may have bitten off more than they can chew. There is a new beginning here. It's like this is the universe saying, I've got something better for you. I have a new beginning for you. Would you please take it? That is what this is. This is an exciting new beginning, but you can't see it. Because you got some sort of blindfold on. So you do have a new beginning here, but you're fighting it. It's like you're fighting your fresh start. The Ace of Wands is a fresh start. Why are you fighting your fresh start? To prove something? If it's not love? <laughs> Don't do it. I have to remind you that karma never loses an address. So you're going to be in, in defense mode probably this week. You're going to probably feel like you are under attack. Um, what do we got, Leo? You may, you may be hearing the truth. Somebody could be getting caught. Somebody's getting caught. Six of Swords reversed. This is reluctant to take a new approach. Reluctant to move on. Not evaluating a situation clearly. This is somebody who is staying in a troubled situation. Why? Why is this person staying in a troubled situation? Because they have some sort of lesson to learn. This is a lesson to be learned. 
Oh, okay. This is a lesson to be learned. But there is something that is coming to an end. You may not want it to come to an end. You may be reluctant to let it end. You may feel as though... <laughs> You're under attack, but this is all happening because something needs to end. There's going to, I think you're going to be up against many. You're going to receive information from somebody that probably makes you very, very, very upset. You are. There's a lot of frustrations here. This is the end of a cycle. That is the world card. This is the end. This is the end of a very prominent phase in your life. Okay, it is. This is something that dominated a time. Okay, all right, it is. So this is this is a completion, a major completion, a lesson learned. So it's the end of one prominent phase. It's over, it's done. It's time to step over the finish line, go someplace else. You may be moving, you may be traveling. You may decide that it's that it's just time for you to get out of here. This is the end. It's the end of a situation that was very prominent in your life. This this situation has been keeping you trapped anyway. It has. It has. We have this Queen of Pentacles that has everything. Okay? She's solid. She's stable. She's secure. She's grounded. She's motherly. She is the mother. She is Mother Earth. She is the Empress if she's a Taurus. One card for Leo, please. I feel as though you have a golden opportunity at this time to complete a cycle in your life that you have been battling. You have been very uh, indecisive about where you wanted to go. You are holding on to something and blocking your own new beginning. I think that you are doing this out of pride. But now it's raining. Now it's pouring. And there's about to be some sort of separation because this is a separation. Some Somebody's getting caught in a lie. Somebody's been staying in a troubled situation where there is no love. Somebody has been trapped and that's over. It's over. That cycle, that lesson has been learned. Now the Queen of Pentacles acts with integrity. So anyway, there's going to be some upheaval this week that makes you probably frustrated. That is the meaning of that card. It's like something did not work out. The temperance reversed as it was as, as you planned. You probably planned it to. It didn't work out as you planned. But you've been holding on. You've been, you've been holding on to it. And you've been staying in this troubled space. You have an opportunity to break free from it and start your life over right now. One card for Leo, please. We'll see if somebody's learned their lesson because this is a lesson learned. No kidding. No kidding. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. But with a seven of swords reversed, whoever 
could be more than one person. Whoever has been living a lie and has been wearing a mask is about to get caught. We don't even need these. One more card. One more card. Some sort of deception. Whoever's been lying. <laughs> whoever has been lying is about to get caught. I hope it hasn't been you, Leo. But it seems to be pouring. And there's heartache and there's pain. One card for Leo. Blossoming abundance. There's an opportunity for abundance here. There is. There's an opportunity for a fresh new start. There is. This is God's hand or a higher power's hand saying, here you go. Here you go. This is a time of inspiration. It's time for you to fly. It's time for you to start new things. You have an opportunity for blossoming abundance. This is a golden opportunity. You are being given a golden opportunity right now to come out of this mental prison, this trap. Wherever you've been trapped, wherever you've been stuck, you have an opportunity to break free right now. You can escape this if you will just do the right thing, act with integrity. Blossoming abundance. Consider this an opportunity to start fresh. Imagine the relief you will feel. Instant relief. Good luck. <laughs> 